Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We've just pulled this caliper off of an aircraft. Um, it was leaking. The brakes would get soft. They'd add more fluid to the reservoir. A couple of weeks later, same old thing. You know, you can wipe off the V-nut. V-nut was tight. So when we took the caliper off and we looked up, you can see all the fluid that's been running out. So the O-ring's been compromised. Uh, we're going to go ahead and um, completely rebuild this caliper and then get it back on the airplane and pump up the system. But this is what a bad caliper looks like. I want to talk a little bit today about calipers. These are the calipers that are on our, our Grumman's. This is off the Tiger, so it's the large puck one. As part of the rebuild, we've uh, taken it off, cleaned everything. We've scotch bited the uh, anchor pins. These are supposed to slide smoothly. We'll have to go back to the airplane and clean the brackets that they go through. But these are done. The through holes for the A and 4 bolts that hold the aircraft, they've been reamed out back to bare aluminum, all the corrosions out of them. We've uh, checked to make sure the inside is nice and smooth and it is. So what we'll do as part of that is we will grab a new O-ring, install it on the puck, reassemble the puck, put it back on there, create and pump it up. At the same time, we're going to replace these almost worn brake pads. And that's about what you can do with a caliper. Get it back on the aircraft and, and bleed it back upward. And this one will work just fine. So we hope you have found this informative. Most people never see these. Their mechanics do them all at the same time. You saw the picture of when it looked bad. Again, this is Grumman Pilots YouTube channel. Directly supports the Grumman Pilots Association and your GPA. Thanks for watching.